I had to uh, take the I had to take the machine in to get the uh, the roof and the winch installed, and I took everything out of the the UTV before I took it in. And I think I left the temperature sensor on my workbench. I do believe so. Don't have a temperature for you today, but it's uh, I'm going to take a stab at it. I'm going to say it's fitty. It's fifty degrees. It's uh it's brisk. And it's enough that my uh, my face shield is uh, fogging up. Uh, a couple of things that we're testing out today, you know, of course, we got the winch, we got the roof, and I can tell you already that the roof, uh, it's an aluminum roof, and it's noisy. It, uh, it makes noise. Also, uh, I did install... Uh, two inch wheel spacers. I finally got all of the wheel spacers in. Uh, I don't know if the the wheels uh, if my wheels were slightly like the holes were slightly off like maybe a millimeter or the wheel spacers were slightly off by like a millimeter. So which you know made it really or they were designed that way on purpose to make sure that the wheel was uh, was locked in tight. You know, I don't know, but I can tell you it took a lot of work wiggling back and forth, back and forth until I could, uh, until I could get the, the wheel spacers on. It was, uh, it wasn't easy is what I'm saying. And like I said, I don't, I don't have any other, you know, previous experience installing, um, a whole bunch of different ones. So. You know, I don't know for sure, but I don't know. This is the first try. I hope that uh, that everything works out, that they don't break or um, or have any problems with them, that they stay tight. I did bring my torque wrench and the socket and everything so I can check to make sure that they stay tight after like 20 miles or so. Um, just to double check them. Also, my wheel spacers did not come with any um, instructions. That was another kind of kind of thing. Nothing in the box, just the wheel spacers, um, which is you know kind of disappointing, I think. Oh yeah, here here's where it gets interesting. This is. Uh, yeah, I wish that sun would get blocked for... Okay, here we go. Now we can see it a little bit better through the haze of dust. But this will definitely be a... This trail right here that we're on right now will definitely be a good test of the wheel spacers for sure. Because... Um... There's a, there's a, there's some off camber stuff on this trail that's uh, pretty hairily hairily. There's a new word for you. Mark that one down. Hairily. There's some uh, hairily spots up here, and they're pretty off camber. Uh, it was enough last time that I was like had to take it like super 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 slow. I was scared, freaking out thought this thing was going to tip over on its side for show. These turns, these, these trails are like really hard to tell people how to navigate because you can see how many, how many turns there are, how many, like if you make one wrong turn, you know, you're not on the same trail kind of situation. Here it is right here. This is the, that really uh, super off camber spot. It goes down super off camber and then dips down. You guys see, can you guys kind of tell? So this will be kind of an indication. And that was, that felt uh, way more stable. And I believe there's another one coming up, like right here. This one is uh, real bad. So let's see how it does here. This will this will give us a an indication. Oh, 
Oh man, that was leaning pretty hard and uh, no problem. Uh, the wheel spacers, uh, I can definitely say, uh, have drastically changed the stability of, uh, of the machine. There's no doubt about it. That felt way more stable than before. Man, what is that? Ra you know, when the engine reaches a certain harmonic, the roof uh, reverberates. I mean, this roof is uh, a lot of uh, a lot of noise. I guess that's kind of a, a downside to the aluminum. The aluminum is going to stay looking good for you know a long longer period of time, but it makes a lot more noise. So there's something to kind of consider, I guess. Here's another really uh, off camber spot. And I'm holding on to the passenger grab bar. This so it's so cool how like I'm close enough to the passenger grab bar to use it. <laughs> Ooh. Yikes. I think we're hitting the ground a little bit more than uh than normal. I do believe that the spacers have somehow uh, lowered the ground clearance, I think. I don't know how that makes any sense, but maybe. You know what's going to be the real test is when it goes off camber to my side. Will it still feel feel planted? You know, will it still feel confidence inspiring? That's that's when we're really going to know the the deal. Because leaning to the passenger side is uh, one thing. Leaning to the driver's side is going to be a a whole nother ball of wax. And I greased up my rear sway bar because I thought this like little squeak thing that's going on was uh, was something in the suspension or the, the rear sway bar. I've heard people talk about making noise. And I checked all the bolts. I lubed it up real good. I lubed up all the suspension. I did all of that. And uh, it uh, it's still squeaking. So now I'm thinking it's the brakes and there's not really anything you can do about it. They just, uh, they just go and squeak. But... Uh, this will be really off camber right here, but no problem. No problem. I still have this thing kind of in uh, eco mode. I've tried both modes and for me, uh, and the type of riding that I do, I just I just find the eco mode better for me. It's uh, it's a lot less responsive. It's not as uh, jumpy. You know, the sport mode, you hit the you know barely tap the throttle and it jumps. You know, and uh, the eco mode is a little bit more uh, subdued. Actually, it's a lot more subdued. Is this the spot? No. Nope. Okay, we still haven't gotten to the real hairy spot. This one's pretty hairy though. It's off camber. You're going to dip into like a little ditch and then you're going to climb out sideways. That's kind of interesting. But I wish we could see something. Man, that sun is just kind of probably ruining my video, isn't it? Just ruining my video. Man, the sun just is not cooperating. Uh-oh. My dad slowing down don't don't uh, seem good. This is a uh, <laughs> this is pretty hairy. Woohoo! Yikes! Tire up in the air.
Yeah. Real off camber again. No problem though. It feels totally planted. Oh man, that sun is just blasting. You know, it'd be uh, better to be running the trail the opposite direction so we could get some decent video of it. I guess I'll just have to wait and look at the video to see if it's even worth showing to you guys because uh, from my perspective, this sun, I, I mean, I'm having a hard time even seeing the trail. It's just, uh, just brutal. Um, I've got a custom made microphone in my helmet that I made many, many years ago and I've been using it for everything. Oh, here it is. I've been using it for everything for a lot of years, man. And, uh, and it, uh, it works good for everything. Now this is, this is a hairy spot for show, for show, for show. And I've showed this to you guys before in the past. But uh, it is, uh, it does have uh, quite a bit of hair on it. Now, you can take it left and go super off camber, or you can, uh, you can split the gap right there. My dad, I guess, chooses to go uh, off camber to the left. And uh, I think, uh, I think I'm going to. Shoot the gap. I'm going to shoot the gap. That's what I'm going to do. That worked out good for me. Yeah, it would have been cool to have the other camera going to get some footage of, uh, of Paul coming up there, but... I do not have the other camera going right now. I got a 128 gig memory card, by the way, in my main camera that's on my helmet. And uh, this is the first time I'm using it. I've had, this will be my third 128 gig card. And I've had nothing but problems from 128 gig cards. Every single one of them has been an issue for me. Um, that's why I use smaller cards. They just, uh, they just don't last. The 128 gig cards, they just they just die. Uh, and I lose a crap ton of footage every time it happens, you know, because it's 128 gigs. So it's a lot of footage. Uh, 